So welcome to another beautiful day on the bike, outside bike. For the last couple of days, I've been killing myself on Zwift. In the words of a viewer, Zwifting myself into an absolute pit. I just can't ride easy on there. Every time I go on it, it ends up taking me up epic Carraway or the massive mountain, and then it gives you a timer, so you have to do an effort. You have to. Hopefully I'll gain some fitness as a result of all of this. But in the meantime, nice easy spin with Daisy. Super short loop, couple of little climbs. Nice empty roads as usual, good times. I'm really tired today. Because we've been smashing the turbo, I was just telling the viewers. Well, I've done 540 kilometres this month, and normally I do about 200. It's hard kilometres as well because you're riding them in Watopia, which yeah. is not a real place. It's no, harder than riding in a real place. Yeah, I just, I'm not giving myself a day off because I'm really enjoying it. Oh, look at that. It's like back to normal again on the. What is this, the F3? So last time we did this route, we went up White Down. Today, not going up White Down. Luckily, you can miss it out. Both me and Daisy's legs are really tired, so we're just gonna take it as easy as we can. Nice little recovery spin. And then, uh, yeah, back on Zwift tomorrow. I really have caught the Zwifting bug, because I don't really ride with much data anymore out on the road. It is actually quite nice having it all presented to you, right in front of you. You've got a few targets to follow. The reason I don't like riding with my bike computer on that much outside is because it does detract from the ride. I want to be looking around at real life, but, on Zwift, it does make sense. I've chosen to vlog while climbing up a hill. Why? So it's gone from 17 degrees to 23 in the space of an hour. But we've come out a little bit later today, not on purpose, but it's kind of lucky because it seems that most people get their exercise done in the morning and then uh, we'll go home. It's barely anyone out, got the roads to ourselves pretty much. Absolutely beautiful day. Shame we can't be out for longer, but I guess I've got some edit to do. I basically just sat on Daisy's wheel the whole ride. It's like motor pacing. Day off tomorrow. Mail time! Has it been leaking? <laughs> oh, it's like a baby. What is it? I, th I hope it's beer. <laughs> Why is it purple? Is it purple? It's like meth. It's the same colour as your jersey. How are we meant to drink it? Just out of the nozzle. Well, there's something for me as well. CEO. That's right, mate. This is a present for you, Francis, from me. She is the perfect long face, she is the long face queen. Thank you. But a few people ask what these hangers are for the bikes. Uh, that's how they work. I just found them online, made.com. But um, the ones in my studio are made by Huxlow. I'll put a link down below. They're pretty sturdy uh, and a space for a helmet on top. This is the e-bike, so it's pretty heavy and it hasn't fallen down, so yeah. Congratulations on the Everest from the cold dark north. Thank you very much, Tobes. If you don't know who the Cold Dark North are, they uh, organise events up north. Races, group rides, that sort of thing. Patch, sticker. Is that a magnet? <gasps> now that excitement is over. What do we do now? So we're fed up of doing tiny, tiny trips to the shop and coming back with no stuff, so I hate cars, but we're in a car. Luckily, she can drive. I can't. So some of you know that I uh, switched cameras actually over the last few weeks. So I've gone from Sony to Canon. Weirdly enough, the Sony cameras, I can't wear these sunglasses because as soon as you put them on, you can't see the screen. But the Canon one, which I'm using now, can. I'm sure some of you will be screen experts in the comments and let me know why, but I think it's a bit weird. So now the Everest is over, I'm going to try and get healthy. This shop is going to be entirely composed of healthy food, except for chocolate milk. Soy chocolate milk. It's actually a really good recovery drink. I just can't believe I'm driving a car. How long has it been since you drove? <laughs> Five years. Oh wow. I'm just mega impressed with myself. Like, I, I honestly have like nightmares dreaming about driving and now I'm like just fucking bossing it everywhere. Don't cross your arms over. Did I cross my arms over? No, you didn't. Fuck off. Chocolate milk. Now I was saying earlier on how I'd switch from Sony cameras to Canon cameras. The sole reason I made the switch is because there's a really good screen that flips out the back of this camera. So when the camera's pointing at me, 
can actually see what's going on. This is my old Sony camera. As you can see, it's got an articulated screen, but that's all it does. So you can look down on it. Seriously, Sony, not useful. Now I've got about a million Sony lenses, so I didn't want to get rid of all of my Sony camera bodies. I did have two of these. I've sold one of them to George from Jam, uh, which is what he's using to vlog at the moment. Shout out to Bun and Beard, link down below if you want to subscribe to them. But I am still going to hold on to this one and I want to make use of it. I've come up with the idea, lockdown idea. Lockdown has had me coming up with quite a few ideas. What I'm looking for now is a monitor to go on the top of it and I'm going to figure out a way to mount a microphone on the side, put it on a tripod and have it permanently set up either here or at the studio when we're finally allowed back in the studio. So there's no faffing around, just turn up, do my filming, take the card out, leave the camera where it is and uh, yeah, less faffing. All it requires is a little bit of organisation now and it should make the vlog a lot easier to make. The less time I spend faffing around with cameras, the better. I kind of miss the Sony camera. All the buttons are in the right place. So I've been doing some browsing. This is what I've decided to order. It's like a tripod, monopod thing. It's got a really, really small base to it. Now I do loads of my filming with this setup. Uh, this is my normal camera that I ride with on my back. Put it on this tripod and then I can move it around and everything. Move it around the room without too many problems. But there is one really big issue with it. And that's its footprint. Here you go. So you set this thing up. But it takes up the whole room. So if I want to put it and set it up to film me on Zwift, I can't. I can't put it in the corner. It's massive. Hopefully this will solve the problem. I said taking up the whole room and I thought I'd come see what you were doing. <laughs> I hope my viewers like tripod content. No, 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 no. I'm going to fall off. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unspit. <laughs> wow, this is hair is getting out of hand. Now I wanted to finish today's video off by speaking about one positive thing that's come out of the coronavirus situation, which is the amount of people in the UK, at least, riding their bikes. Now, for viewers who are not in the UK, here, you only have to go outside and you can just see the change. There are loads of families out, tiny kids on bikes that definitely wouldn't be there if there was loads of traffic on the roads and there isn't as much traffic at the moment, which is fantastic. And it really makes me wonder how long after this lockdown are these habits going to continue? Hopefully there'll be some permanent change. I was reading earlier that Paris has actually sunk 300 million euros into its temporary cycling infrastructure. And I'm guessing some of those temporary changes will actually end up staying. I think the phrase, if you build it, they will come, really does apply to cycling. I mean, I do a lot of riding and I'm confident on the road, but still sometimes going into London, you have to psych yourself up for it. Some better infrastructure would go a long, long way in getting people riding bikes. I'd be keen to know what you think of the situation. What's it like in the country you currently live in? Are key workers using bikes to get around? Because it seems to be a really good option for them. Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.